Oh, this next one has a great name. Money Guy Tumblr Chaser has oh, a question it. next. Well, so it's his lucky day. You na- name it and claim it. Question is, we have a healthy emergency fund and we max out 401k contributions, which is awesome. But we have a hard time spending for enjoyment. Is this a common problem you see with your clients? And do you have any advice? Yep. Uh, is it a common problem? Yes, absolutely. W- one of the hardest one of the hardest things is when you are a financial mutant, you are naturally just hardwired to be a saver and to squeeze and to be tight and to be frugal. And so it's really difficult to shift that. I mean, one of our favorite, you know, people think that financial advisors, one of the things we always try to do is tell people, save more money, save more money, save more money. By the way, I hate you. I'm over here writing favorite. Keep going. Oh, so. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, we literally use the same language. Keep Uh, going. They think that we want to take the same, and we do. We like you saving more money. But one of our most favorite parts of our job is when we get to tell retirees, hey, go spend more. Hey, you can do, hey, you can take the trip. Hey, you can buy the thing. Hey, you can have the upgrade. Hey, you can fill in the blank. So it's really, really difficult to shift that mentality. So without stealing any more of your stuff, here's my question for you, Brian. You used to be a self-professed tightwad. But way back in the day, we actually thought that we would like call ourselves tightwads. But there is a stage of life that you reach where maybe you can graduate past being a tightwad. And I I think that mentality shift is very similar to what Money Guy Tumblr Chaser is asking here. It's like, how, what are some, some protocols or what are some things I can do to allow myself to do those things. Yeah, by the way, this is a it's a great threshold and it's hard to give up your tight wide card, but I can tell you if you do it right, you you'll you'll come out on the other side feeling very happy with it. But but I don't want you just Im- immediately doing it. You have to do some homework first. So you got to make sure that you really are at this threshold and this will probably help you with your significant other because there might be some friction in the relationship if you're tight, they're not as tight and you're still holding them up like I I'm amazed I had a I had a he's now he, he's a client, he was a friend. Um but he he was telling me that his 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 spouse was getting so mad because he was making her share the receipts for about anything and everything <laughs> she spent. And and she just was fed up with it, didn't want to do it anymore. So how do you actually get beyond this? First, here's the homework part. You got to know actually what you're saving for. And that's why we, you know, people wonder why we come up with courses. The Know Your Number course was designed because we were thinking about this, is people need to know, are you on the curve, behind the curve, or ahead of the curve with your personal finances? So if you go to learn.moneyguy.com, we've actually created a course called Know Your Number. It's not only a course, it's a tool. Mm -hmm. So you can actually calculate and figure out what actually you need. And then once you know that number, and you can kind of know if you're ahead of the curve, behind the curve, then you can look at your lifestyle and figure out what's necessary. And this is kind of the point I got to where I was like, what am I doing? You know, there is no reason to go on vacation in this way or do uh, travel this way or make this personal decision in my household this way if we if we cuz you don't get to take it with you mm-hmm. and once you fulfilled all those goals it's actually very liberating to do the homework to know yeah this is the point this is kind of step 8 of the financial order of operations where you get to think about all the prepaid expenses of a great big beautiful tomorrow is if, if you want to buy a nicer car that's okay it's go okay. buy go do buy you a new a nicer great. car um, this is the part where you get to do all the daydreaming and really think about how you want to do it well. Um, and, and that's what I like. But And this will probably help you and your relationship tremendously. And now, I mean, I enjoy going to nice dinners. I enjoy going on nicer vacations. And, and it's so hard to be removed from the tightwad life that kind of got me here. But then I look at it with fondness because I know I would not be able to do all this stuff if I hadn't made that sacrifice you know, back in my twenties and thirties, that now I get to live life in a completely different way. So, so kudos. I can't remember the the witty title, something like "I'm Money a, a Tumblr, Tumblr chaser. chaser." You know, but but you've done the hard work. Now finish the drill. Figure out where you are on your savings objective, and now start enjoying the fruits from this. This is the time to actually celebrate. And it's a fun, by the way, here's another suggestion for you, because your, your spouse is probably a like, hot dog. You're, we're going to do what? Dad gummit. I, that was what I was about to say. Good. <laughs> well, good. I get to steal. We get to, to, you know, touche. Yeah. <laughs> um, the fact that you're going to now be able to go on a date night and come up with your next three-year travel plans, 
do it. It's you know this is the because when you're a tightwad, it's not very sexy. Mm-hmm. But you know what is sexy when now you've built enough abundance that you get to go on dates, talking about how we're going to actually travel and do things. Um, which is great with the, my, my daughter, who's the intern this summer being here, is that these are the fun things that we get to do and she gets the fruit from as well that, that, that makes life fun and being a financial mutant fun. Or maybe your thing is not travel. I mean, like for, with stage of life right now, you know, we can't exactly leave the baby anywhere. So I've, me and my wife were talking, she's like, hey, I really want to do do a few rooms in the house a different way. And I, want to do some, and I was like, okay, great. Those are some things. If you sit down and have those conversations with your spouse, it assigns a reason for those dollars. So savers, we like to think about my reason for the dollars to go into savings, go into savings. You can do the same thing with your consumption and make it feel like you're not just frivolously living if you have a plan in place for how you're going to spend and spend well.